Hi, this is William Ramsey. I wanted to make a quick video about the illness of Hillary Clinton and provide irrefutable proof that she has a seizure disorder. This is a video of Hillary Clinton fainting in 2012 where she suffered a concussion. Just please respect him. Okay. Standard product. Please. Sorry, please guys. Don't. This is, this is not. The agents have requested her to please stay in your seats. The following videos are from July 22, 26, where she has an involuntary petit mal seizure. It was a, it was a wonderful, um, meaningful endorsement in every way, and I was I very proud of it. Did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? You guys have got to try the cold chai. I've had it. It is delicious, isn't it? Okay. Here's the same event from another angle. In every way. And how did you talk about Senator Warren? Did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? You guys have got to try the cold chai. I've had it. Here, Hillary Clinton goes blank and forgets what she's saying. About health care, we need to make what we've got work really well and improve it and get the costs out of a upward spiral. Now I want to mention two other things. What do the following three videos have in common? Every time Hillary Clinton hears loud noises, she seizes up. I was very proud of Senator Warren. And how did you talk about Senator Warren? And improve it and get the costs out of. At this rally on August 4th, 2016, Hillary Clinton is seen seizing up while her Secret Service supporters step forward. One of her agents on the far right, as you'll see, pulled something out of his jacket pocket anti seizure injector. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Watch the guy on the far right again, very slowly. He grabs with his right arm inside his jacket pocket for something. On August 15th, 2016, Hillary Clinton visited Joe Biden's home in Scranton, Pennsylvania. You can see her walk in unsteadily towards Joe Biden and the woman he's hugging here. But during the whole video, Hillary Clinton cannot stand upright. She keeps grabbing for a railing and even grabs for uh, a table inside the house. Watch closely. Thank you so much. Well, come on, let's get it. Hi. How are you? This is Ann. Oh, Ann, it's great to be here. Hi. This is right. How are you? This is where I grew up. I love it. Top of Fish Street. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever slide down it? A lot of times. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I hung out of the cars. <laughs> there used to be Don't a streetcar line here. You see that tree there that cut down? Yeah. In the book, What It Takes, they found two guys that reported that I jumped out of that tree <laughs> on the top of a trolley car, which I did. Which but, you did, uh, but I mean... But, but I, I become yeah. much more reasonable. My man, Gertie, would come out here and they'd walk out and they just keep dropping food. And so they're having this arguments going on and my grandmother drops a, I know, play with you can just tell from this video that Hillary Clinton is grabbing on to anything she can hold on to. Looks at my grandfather and says, Johnny's not switching. Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign and her supporters are engaged in an aggressive cover-up of her health status, calling people who question her health conspiracy theorists. It's interesting that here the Inquirer seemed to know that Hillary Clinton had serious health problems. They wrote that she's risking her health each day in an article that was published October 7, 2015. In the article, they detail everything that everybody's talking about, Hillary's current, current problems, saying she suffered from headaches, memory lapses, extreme fatigue, blackouts, and vision problems, and that she was a heavy drinker, telling her own daughter that, I'm an alcoholic, please help me. So it's pretty clear that not only does Hillary Clinton have a very serious seizure problem, she has a blood clotting problem and is an alcoholic. Please click the red button on the bottom right of the screen and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.